I was just looking at my meta business account for my business at Kemi Corp and noticed that we have over 50 plus business assets within it. And I haven't done the math yet, but we're overseeing basically like 3 million plus in monthly revenue across all the different brands we're working with currently. And analyzing all these results has allowed me to get an incredible eagle eye view of the e-commerce market. So what I want to do in today's video is use that eagle eye to spot some good potential products for you and use all of the trending softwares right now in order to do so at a quick pace. So we're gonna use three different softwares today and the goal is gonna to be to find 10 winning products that are just fire for you to be able to start your business with. Now, the first tool is gonna to be Minia, then we're gonna use Trend Rocket, and then we're gonna use Shop Hunter. So these are probably the three most popular tools. There's other ones out there too, and maybe if you guys like this video real quick and drop a comment, I'll do this again but with some different tools and we'll find a lot of great products for you that you can take advantage of. And you know, as I find these, I'm also gonna talk about how you can actually grow your business with these products because that's basically what we do at my company. So anyways, let's get right into it. The first one is Minia. And Minia, as you see, is a pretty interesting tool. I mean, they got a whole array of features these days. But the first one that I wanna do is just straight up the top winning products to sell on Facebook. Facebook is my favorite advertising platform. TikTok is good, I like TikTok, but I like TikTok better for just organic marketing. Facebook, on the other hand, has just the most advanced AI. Google is also really good. So let's look at some of these, okay. Now this is what's cool about them. Now how I use mini is usually just to spy on ads. But now they're just like literally making it so easy to use and condensing some of the winning products into just, you know, one dashboard. So this one is from a month ago and it has 8,000 likes. Pet products are, man, just so incredible. This one is actually pretty funny. So see, to me, I, I could see this selling really well on TikTok even. So that's such a niche product though. So to be honest, we're not gonna count this one, even though I think this sells really well. It's only applicable to small dogs. And I mean, that's great. There's a lot of small dogs out there, but I, I really like the products these days that have a very broad appeal, a very broad market. So this is just a rolling, a lint roller. Oh wow, this one's actually good though. I've never seen one like this. See, so this one applies to dogs and cats, which I really like. And this ad is kind of trash. It's not that good. I mean, it gets the idea across pretty well, but it's not done that well. It, this is kind of an old product. I will admit that, but sometimes old products work really well because they've been proven to sell. The more competitors there are in a market, the harder it is to be super profitable, but it also validates the idea a lot. So. This is a great product in my opinion, and it looks pretty easy to sell. $13, that's pretty cheap. So how I would sell this product is literally order 100 of them. They probably cost like $4 on Alibaba. So maybe $400 startup cost, that's not too bad. Um, and set up a TikTok shop. Set up a TikTok shop for it, start making some great content. And I'm sure you'll sell out before you know it and you can just continue to do this over and over again. So this is actually a good product, I like it. So this heated jacket is such a popular product. I've seen it before, but it's so good. I mean, this is so mass appeal because anybody could use it and you can wear it under your clothes, you can wear it above your clothes. It's such a good product. I've never seen this on TikTok shop either, probably because it's expensive, but that's a good one to potentially test out or just through Shopify and Instagram ads. Even just Facebook organic marketing for this would go pretty hard, especially since I feel like the target demographic is largely on meta, but since it's such a broad appeal product, you could sell it to anyone. Okay, we're gonna leave the Minia platform for a bit just because it's acting way too slow on my computer right now. I think it's because I'm recording at the same time, but great platform, definitely you guys should check it out. But let's move on to Trend Rocket here and find some more. We've have, So we've had two products so far and I think that's not bad for Minia, even though it was really slow. So again, we're aiming for that 10 winning product mark with 10 potential products to test. You're basically good to go to find a business that is viable 
and you can actually grow and make some money with and build up some skills with. So that's a good goal, 10 winning products. So stay till the end so you can actually see us get to that point. So this is Trend Rocket. Trend Rocket is pretty cool. It's Davey's tool, Davey Fogarty. He is an awesome guy. He was kind enough to do a private interview and Q&A with my community at Kemi Lab. So you can check that out if you want to join the Kemi Lab and you can you can see the recording of that interview. It's probably worth like millions of dollars in my opinion because he told us exactly what he would do to scale to a hundred million dollars again if he had to do it over. So great interview, great value. Check it out. And this is the software. Okay, so this beach wave rotating curling iron this thing has been going crazy on tiktok shop i've been seeing it so this is a good product i mean believe it or not even though this is very competitive if you can get just some better marketing than these other brands you're gonna do quite well and you could even do like a one product store off of this and then eventually dive into other products within this category beauty beauty is such a good niche uh, and it's only getting bigger so that's really important to note. Now, here's another really interesting one. This is the Skin Sonic. It's a new product from Bleem, though I don't see it on their site. So it seems almost like they haven't actually launched it yet. Pretty interesting, though. It seems like this is something they're going to cook up. So you could potentially beat them to it. And you could use this supplier here on Alibaba. That's pretty cool that you can actually find the supplier on Trend Rocket. That's actually super convenient. Because then you could order order this unbranded, literally order like 50 units or even 10 units, spend 100 bucks, 10 units and set them up on TikTok shop. Get some poly mailers at your local office max and you could ship them out yourself. It's not that hard. So, I mean, actually they have a minimum order quantity. So never mind. I just hyped you up a little too much, but you get the point, right? That's how it works. And again, when I say TikTok shop, I also mean a Shopify store because you can connect them both. And that's something that a lot of people don't think about. But I still feel like the best way to look at your Shopify store is at, as the central hub for your online business. And then these other channels are just channels that allow you to sell more in perhaps an easier way. But they all integrate with Shopify. So you can do all your inventory management directly on Shopify, which is what I recommend you do. Ooh, this product right here, this portable pet cage. This is a great product. And the reason is it's a great product, it's because it's so useful for so many different scenarios. For example, pets can get crazy, right? Sometimes you just need them to stay in one place and they don't. Boom, you need one of these. And it's probably really easy to take places. So if you wanna travel with your pet, boom, great use case for me. As some of you guys know, my cat Nina, she injured her paw. So she's supposed to not move a lot. So guess what? We literally bought one of these just not too long ago. So really good product. It really appeals to a lot of different pain points. It solves a lot of problems basically for pet owners and pet owners are so passionate. So it's really easy to appeal to their emotions and that's gonna allow you to sell the product really easily. Now, there are some suppliers here. Let me take a look at this one, for example just to see. Okay, so they have a one unit minimum order quantity. That's amazing. And it costs $14 for this product. That's crazy. So you could order this. That's the small one, though. The bigger one is a little more expensive, I'm guessing. Maybe not. But you know, that's the cool thing about e commerce is if you find a supplier that's willing to work with you at a lower minimum order quantity, that's great. Because that price that you're going to get for that order is actually going to become less and less as you scale up, which is really great. It actually works very well for scaling and staying profitable. It's getting a lower per unit cost as you scale in order bigger quantities. But this product is great. The suppliers seem great. So definitely one that you should take advantage of. So that's product number four, I believe. We're almost halfway there and we haven't even scrolled this too far. So that's great. I'm happy about that some garden veggie bags these are a really good product too so this is for people who like to garden and actually grow their own produce which is a trend is that's only going to get bigger i mean food safety is a very real concern for a lot of people so i think this product right now is really good especially when people are scared about the economy war 
these are things that you know people are taking into account right now i mean some of the world events are definitely something worthwhile to think about when it comes to starting your business and selling things that are necessities can be very helpful towards building a successful business in these times and i see this as one of those potential things so you know they're saying you could sell this for 38 dollars for like a pack of them which is pretty cool let's see let's try this supplier yeah, so you can get each one of these for like a dollar. So you could sell like a pack of 10 for $30, $40. And that's a really great deal. And again, there's so much content you can make around a product like this. So TikTok, great place to advertise this and promote it. But also Instagram, that's another thing. This is product number five. But if you're going to sell something like this, if you want to order some inventory, or you want to drop ship still the best way to promote it probably is to start out with free promotion via short form content because that content can be repurposed on every other platform so it's a bit of a hack to driving traffic to your store though it's not easy um, my favorite are still paid ads because you're letting the machine do the work but if you combine the two i mean you're golden that's that's really the key these days this snuggle puppy seems really promising i think obviously for q4 this isn't the exact product maybe you should sell but thinking about stuffed animals and you know unique things that you can do with that maybe like you have an array of five different stuffed animals and people can pick three out of the five that they want for a special deal these are things that are very very popular especially for q4 if you can make the experience a little more interactive man that's a good idea so find maybe some really cute stuffed animals that you you know would do really well or maybe just copy the ones that are doing well already and create some sort of variety pack that's a great idea dang so a foldable e-bike i've never seen something like this before but man i would love to have one of these this is a great idea. E-bikes are such a popular niche. And again, it's just one of those things that are obviously going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And it actually does fit in well with the idea of a recession, right? Because people are probably going to start using their cars less and they need other means of transportation, but they're lazy. So an electric bike is the perfect solution for this. And especially one that can fold over now, this is, of course, a bit of a higher risk business, right? Because you're going to need to make an investment. But if I were really passionate about this, if I were to have the time to pursue something like this, I would just buy one. Literally, I would just buy one, use it myself and make so much content about it that at least one person would buy it. And then I would just sell them the one that I'm using <laughs> and then use that money to buy like two more and, you know, just do this over and over again. Uh, or even potentially drop ship the orders. I mean, if you buy one for yourself and you know the supplier is solid, you could make a deal with them and, you know, make them ship the orders directly to the customers. But, you know, this is a bit of a riskier business, higher ticket. But still, if you're willing to risk it, this is a great opportunity. So this is an awesome product, product number seven. Now let's move on to a different platform now. We're going to use Shop Hunter just so that we're getting some variety in here. We don't want to, you know, only use Trend Rocket, even though I do like Trend Rocket a lot. You know, the product research is not the only feature that they have. They have some other pretty awesome features like showing you trending brands, which is obviously going to be great for my channel, right? Because we review a lot of brands. We do a lot of case studies on how businesses grow to millions and millions a month. Now, let's look at the top moving products. So that's, I think, one of the cool features about Shop Hunter is that it shows you the moving products so the product products that are getting a lot of traction right now so you know these are selling really well let's see this portable gym machine Ooh, this is good this is really good so let's take a look at the store reg portable gym machine 89 dollars. that's actually pretty that's a good price for the potential amount of exercises that you can do with something like this and man these people really went above and beyond to create like the perfect landing page like they have an app now, they have free ebooks that you get when you order this, such a good deal. Here's the thing, this is actually super easy to do these days with ChatGPT or Bard. Use either Bard or ChatGPT to create ebooks and educate people when they buy your product. Help them use the product in the best way possible. This is a genius idea, genius execution, 
and I'm sure these guys are printing money right now. Oh, actually, it seems like they're falling off a little bit. Maybe they need a Kemi's help. So if you're from <laughs> Reg and you need help, hit me up and fill out our form. So really cool product. Let's move on to another moving product. Okay, so a sleep waddle for babies zero to six months. This is a great product. $89. That's pretty expensive. I feel like, you know, it's not too expensive to produce something like this. Though I will say when it comes to baby products, it is good to go above and beyond to make sure it's good quality, of course. So really good one. I actually really like this brand. They are popping off. Look at this momentum. I love to see it. This is the types of brands I love to work with because, you know, when something is on the come up, it means they're doing something right. And sometimes business owners just don't know exactly what that is, but they have so many good reviews. It seems like they really took the time to build this product out. But overall, the idea itself is really, really good. It makes it easier to get babies like swaddled up. I don't know if you know what that means, but it's basically when they just get like really cocooned and you can do that with just a blanket, but it's not that easy to do. So that's a decent product. It's just really good execution. Let's do top products here and see if we can find something better. Um, we'll rank by velocity. Magnetic car mount. Okay, that's pretty. Somebody selling a fake Patek Philippe. <laughs> Some Yeezys. That's so funny. These vintage high heel shoes. Dang, these look really, really nice. So this looks like some sort of fashion dropshipping store. And I will say fashion is probably one of the most crazy niches out there because I've never had too much success in it, but people seem to be doing insane numbers with fashion. And I think really when I analyze it and really think it through, it's just because of the perceived value. So boots like this, I mean, I've never seen something like this. So that's probably the key to fashion is selling things that you've never seen before, but that also have like some elements of familiarity. Like this looks like a cowboy boot, but also a heel at the same time. That's super cool and very trending right now. Uh, cowboy culture definitely seems to be on the come up again. So this goes really, really well with that trend. And I can see why this is popping up. They probably are just running this image as an ad literally, and it's doing so well for them. So definitely don't neglect shoes. I think people buy so many shoes all the time and it's not the easiest category to sell in, but it definitely has so much viral potential. Here's another one. This one's also catching a lot of velocity and it's so weird because the, <laughs> the store is called Spooky Season and they're selling this random Milan handmade leather loafer and it's doing really well as you see, they're starting to pop off. So this just shows you these types of products this image itself is so good i mean these are super high quality images they're probably from timu if i were to guess and they just added it to this store but surprisingly this this store works even though look at how simple it is i mean they literally don't even say anything because the pictures speak for themselves so that's another really good one now the last one here is this massager massages the thing about massages is that people really love massages and they pay a lot of money to get massaged. So again, this ties in well with the trend of people wanting to save money, doing things on their own, doing things at home. So try, this could be a good one. They have some insane editing though. Like this is such good edits and they've gone above and beyond to make this work. This is what it takes guys. Like just really take it seriously, even though it seems like their traffic is dying a bit. So somebody could come back for Q4 and take over, but this is a good potential product. It's a good private label opportunity and these guys have done a really great job at validating the idea and showing exactly why this is beneficial. So this could be a good one. It's a little more gimmicky, I will admit. It's not probably the one that I would start with, to be honest. The other ones I think are, are better. Um, but ultimately, this is just a framework to think of finding winning products. But here's the thing. There's no such thing as like the perfect product to test, really, because Ultimately, even if something just checks all the boxes, it could still not work. So it really is a bit of a volume game. You gotta always be taking action and testing new things. I mean, that's really the name of the game. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it was super long, but maybe you got some ideas. Hopefully you did. Test some of these products. Let me know how they do. 
and make sure you check out all the links in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.